Hi, this is Maggie. Today I'm going to be talking about Gemini, the twins. They are ruled by uh, Castor and Pollux, the twins. So they are air. <coughs> they are mutable air, very mutable. Um, positive, their polarity is positive. That's male. The air signs are male. Um, they're mutable, very adaptable, changeable. They're kind of like chameleons to any scene. Ruling planet is Mercury. They're very, very talkative ideas. They're just the life of the party, always kind of jabbering, talking, getting something going, networking, skilled, very skilled. Rules the third house of communication. And they share their ruling planet Mercury with Libra. I mean, I'm sorry, Virgo. They share it with Virgo. Um, their spirit color is yellow. My mother is a Gemini and she absolutely loves yellow. She loved yellow, absolutely loved yellow. <clears throat> and uh, top love matches are Aries and Leo. And yeah, I could speak for that. Aries, my mother was a, you know, Aries, Gemini has a bad rep you know, for lying and cheating. And some of, some, of, some of the men maybe do. I think the women tend to be a lot more loyal. Uh, my mother was extremely loyal, <laughs> extremely loyal. Um, and ended up someone cheated on her, uh, but she, she was very loyal. Uh, yeah, so, but they're not all like that. I mean, there are... There are some that can be <clears throat> very loyal and faithful, especially once they're ready to settle down. And there are some that will lie and cheat on you. So, you know, that's why they get the bad rep for that. But they're great for friends. They're great to have at parties. They're, um, and they can be solid. They can be very solid, solid friends as well. Very solid friends. Um, yeah, they're unfair rep for being two-faced, you know, um, yeah, they just, they just, yeah, they can gossip and, you know, they, they can, uh, network with their friends and, but they can be captivating, motivating, enchanting. Marilyn Monroe was a Gemini, you know, and she just captivated everyone. Um, however, that's the lying and the cheating, you know, she was cheating with the Kennedys. And so that's on them too. But then JFK was a Gemini too. So, you know, they were both in that together. So yeah, there's a lot of that going on, but, um, I, I'm not gonna, <coughs> yeah, Gemini's are the life of the party. They have great emotional intelligence, um, yeah, they could just, they could just expound, they could expound on any topic and just sort of fit in and adapt. They're kind of like chameleons, um, very social, but when the other twin comes out, Castor and Pollux, um, they can be prone to, they can almost be kind of like bipolar, like prone, you know, I'm just thinking of my mother, she was just high on top of the world, and then it was like, crash and burn, and and they're depressed, and that's almost every Gemini I've known. They, they need to go to their cave and just either be depressed or just, just take a time out from life, you know? Withdraw. They withdraw. Go to their cave and withdraw. <clears throat> and they can suffer from depression. But then, you know, they're on top of the world again. And they're the life of the party. Um, Marilyn Monroe would be an example. So the bipolar, you know? of uh, Gemini and yeah it, and it, it could be hard if you're in a relationship with them when they go away like that you know it's like where have you been for the last two weeks oh I went to my cave you know I could and then they'll go well I couldn't take I'm sorry I couldn't take you anymore you know like it's like it's your fault but really they they just needed a time out so um uh, that's been my experience with Gemini. I, I love Gemini, though. Gemini, Gemini and Aries are a very, very good match. Um, very good match. 
I swore off Gemini so for a while because I did get burned. <laughs> I did get burned. My, my mother was very, very faithful and loyal. And another Gemini a woman I know in respect, very, very loyal. And most of the women seem to be loyal. But the, the men, um, actually, there are loyal Gemini men as well. There are. There are. They do have a bad rep. So they're not all, you know, you more than your sun sign. Um, but if you're having a party or they're throwing a party, you know, they're, they're just so much fun. They're the life of the party. They love to decorate. My, my niece, she, Gemini, and she would start, she couldn't wait to start decorating for Christmas, um, you know, way before Thanksgiving. She was ready for that. <clears throat> so the top love matches for Gemini are... Aries and Leo. Aries and Leo. Yeah, third house is all about communication. So they're they're just very, very adaptable, but they, they are ruled by the twins. They have their highs and lows. Um, they can be prone to depression. Um, I think they're ruled by their eyes, Mercury, the eyes. Um, and they get bored very easily. They get bored. So you want to keep them entertained or they'll just move on. They'll just move on. And, you know, they have an air of secrecy about them. They may not tell you what's really going on behind the scenes because they always have, seem to have some kind of drama going on. <laughs> they always, yeah, will have some kind of drama going on, depending on the, you know, the Gemini. I mean, there's highly evolved Geminis. And they're superficial Geminis. You know, they kind of have a rep for being superficial, but they're not. I mean, not, some are, some aren't, you know. Um, yeah, and we need them. Rappers, there's, oh my God, there's so many rappers that are Gemini that are just off the charts. You know, Eminem for one. Um, I've done quite a few of their charts, and they, they, they're very prominent. So... There you go. They're great artists, um, great artists, and great communi communicators, uh, great friends, great at parties, great at anything social. But they do need a time out for themselves. They really need that. They need to need that to recharge their batteries because they they could get drained and they can suffer from depression. Um, but then they're back on top of the world again. <laughs> it's like. That's just, that's just part of being a twin, part of being a twin. And when you come to really deeply know them, like I have, um, you just accept them for who, who they are. And when they're in one of their moods, though, you kind of don't want to be around. You know, whoever was around would get it. <clears throat> whoever was around would get it. So when they're in a bad mood, <laughs> you just kind of either you stay away or they stay away, you know, because... They will make it known when the other other twin comes out. Um, yeah, but they're just uh, they're good people, really good people, and uh, yeah, very mutable, very adaptable, and very solid. You know, you get a Gemini on your side; that they're, they're loyal. They could be very loyal, especially yeah, if you're part of their crew. <laughs> They're loyal to you, uh, which is a good thing. And, yeah, I've loved <clears throat> all the Geminis in my life. But there, there was a time when I totally swore, swore off of them because I was hurt by, by one of them. Um, just the lying and the cheating, you know, the jealousy. And, but, you know, it takes two to play those games, you know. And, you know, there's also red flags. And if you're going to stick your head in the sand and not see it, you know, then that's kind of on you too. So, um, but anyway, Geminis are great. They really are. And um, fun to have around. Life of the party and never boring, never boring. But they can, yeah, I mean, you know, as for, they get bored easily. They get bored very, very easily. They might just sit around in the house and mope that they're they're bored too. I've seen them do that as well. But um, 
otherwise they're they're very positive and upbeat and uh, they just have a zest for life a real spark enthusiasm um, yeah and their eyes sparkle they, you know my mother had beautiful blue eyes and they just had this beautiful sparkle to them and uh, yeah, and they're, they're very quick and they're very ambidextrous. They're, they can use their hands and just, um, yeah, very, very adept at using their, their hands, their wit. They're funny as hell. Oh, my God. They could just keep you in hysterics. They are so funny. Um, this one particular Gemini, he, he, he <laughs> He was just off the wall. You know, he had a humor, almost like Robin Williams. You know, I forget what sign Robin Williams was, but um, his humor was much like this Gemini. I'm, I'm thinking of Andre. Uh, yeah, he, he just, he just could do stand-up. You know, he'd have even stitches. Just, And it was that quick, quick mind, you know, quick humor. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Mutable Gemini, um, very adept. They could just blend in with any scenario and just just take up the conversation, not know a thing about it, but be able to just carry carry it on, you know, because they, they're very intelligent. Um, yeah, and so, you know, there's the higher and lower octaves of any signs and everybody evolves. So they're not the only signs that lie and cheat. So, <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, I eventually got over it. And, yeah, so can everyone else. But they, yeah, but they're, yeah, they're curious, they're affectionate, and they're kind, very kind. Oh, my gosh. Very kind and very generous, very generous. I'm thinking of all the Geminis I know, and that fits them. Curious, Gemini, curious, affectionate, and kind. And they love um, adventure. They like to go out and do things and try things new. Um, yeah. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. They are, yeah, their, their glyph are the twins. Yeah, the twins, Castor and Pollux. So, uh, Anyway, I'm just going to move on to the next sign, and um, I do love Geminis, although I did go through a period when I had, I kind of had to put them in a box because I was hurt so badly. <laughs> I kind of had to put them in a box and take a time out, but they make great friends uh, and great lovers too. Um, yeah, so enough said. All right, take care.